Simon, brilliant to get you on the couch, man. Uh, this is the... Delighted to be here. Eh? You're a legend. Hardly. Yeah. Hardly. Broadcasting legend. You were my inspiration for open goal. I'd love to think that was the case. <laughs> love to think that was the case. When did you make up this mad plan to record podcasts? Not just record podcasts, yeah. but to film them and stick them on the internet. Uh, I think about three years ago we started, so uh, about three years we've been going there. I just didn't think there was anything like that. Obviously we'd seen that other people had started podcasts that weren't a day with football. Very serious. Very serious. And we thought, oh, we can change this a bit. <laughs> Guys that I knew in the media thought that, especially my friends, I thought they were boring. Guys like Charlie McGrew, Aidan McGeady, and I was, I was thinking, that's, you couldn't get any further for the truth, you know. Proper characters, funny guys. If I could get that across, I'm sure people will go wild for this. So we've done four of my mates, I think we've done Charlie Adam, Aidan McGeady, Kevin Thompson and Charlie McGrew. Uh, it just kind of blew up for there. The key thing is that people trust you because you're a pro, you're a player. And I think I see people, they just, they get caught off guard, they forget they're being filmed, they forget they're being recorded mm -hmm. and you just drag out gems. Oh, well, I don't know, it's not, it's not, I don't think it's got anything to do with me. Eh? Um, I think people now see what we're after, so they're not going to come on unless they're going to tell the stories that we want to hear. So it's got, honestly, it's, the boys that have done it, I couldn't have thanked them enough because every single person that's came on have, have, been, have been tremendous. And obviously we've added to the, we started with interviews, then we added a podcast with Kevin Kyle and Paul Slane. I need to give you two massive credit, you know, they've took it to the next level. Juggling, family, football, coaching, the podcast. Yeah. How do you manage it all? I know, that's me seven days a week now, so... Uh, Monday coaching, Tuesday coaching, Wednesday... That, that's nights during the days, usually, usually the podcast. Done two interviews a day, straight up to four for... But you know what? I had to be look at the other side of life and I had to be build a kitchen. So I'm so thankful. You know, every night I'm doing seven days a week is football. Have you got any favourite cliches? Because my favourites are... Got an honest group of boys here. Honest group of boys, <laughs> as opposed to a dressing room of thieves who've <laughs> sent them back in. He's my, away with all their watches. My pet hate is uh, fans were great. We go again. We go again. Oh, we go again. No, you don't go again. He's have not been going the whole season. So when are you going to start going again? And you love the game just as much as. Oh, I love it. I love it. I, I always say to anyone. I mean, that's all I can speak about. You know what? My missus family is really clever. Like they're in all sorts. Like you can talk to them about anything, and I'm totally lost in conversations at their house here because all I can talk about is football, and that's all I do: watch football, talk about it, play it, coach it. So love it. Fantastic, Simon. What a man! Thanks, man. Pleasure, man. man.